Okay guys, here's a fifth wheel by East West Manufacturer. Let's take a look inside. Remember with a fifth wheel, you're going to need a high capacity tow vehicle with a different style than just a regular hitch. It has like this. The reason they call it a fifth wheel is because they have this like cylinder that would slide into the back of a truck bed, a pickup truck bed that has an adapter piece that fits in versus a regular travel trailer that just has a hitch so that's why they call it a fifth wheel because it kind of operates as a fifth wheel and supposedly makes it easier to maneuver especially being that so big this model is a 285 rl has slide outs four steps up we'll take a look inside has a screen and as soon as you walk in, it's a modern open floor layout uh, with a light tan laminate flooring, uh, like an off-white cabinetry, stainless steel appliances, and windows throughout. Okay. Uh, the first part we'll look at is the table here with the four chairs that are freestanding meaning you can move these chairs around uh, slide window right beside it for plenty of ventilation behind that is a two seater recliner with cup holders also has windows directly behind it to get nice airflow and then the next item is a sofa that would also fold out as a separate sleeping quarters if needed surrounded by windows and cabinetry above and the centerpiece to the sitting areas is a fire pa fireplace below it that's an electric fireplace okay and it has some like uh, crystals there at the bottom so that gives like a nice accent when you light that up at night with a recessed flat screen TV so that makes your entertainment area very nice and of course one of the selling points here to this modern fifth wheel is this open floor layout so that you can cook and entertain at the same time. You have an island sink with a nice sink cover, big rectangular stainless steel sink with a nice faucet. And right off that, you have your oven with a three burner propane gas stove top. You do have a built-in stainless steel microwave, GE manufacturer. And you do have a nice here refrigerator freezer. Has a couple compartments. Oh, excuse me. This is your refrigerator area with several compartments for drawers and things like that. These are all removable. And then you have slider freezer compartments. So that's very functional to store like steam vegetables, chicken, etc. And you have a huge double door pantry. So it has a little latch here. Lift up two doors. Store all your canned goods and uh, cereal boxes. And even has a place here you can hang some thing, keys, or even, even clothes if you wanted to. But it's mainly for pantry, for food. You have a 120 volt outlet. Very nice. A little decor on the outside. So that is your main living area. Okay, we're going to go to the master bedroom. But again, you have a couple multiple functional sitting areas with a sleeper sofa, open floor layout on the kitchen, beautiful appliances, and nice decor. So hopefully you see everything there. Let's take a look upstairs. See, the thing with a fifth wheel is once you come into the unit, it's pretty high off the ground because it's so big. The master bedrooms are always usually located above the towing point, above the fifth wheel itself. So you're going to have to walk a couple stairs. So if you were a senior citizen, okay, fifth wheels may be a little bit more challenging to get in and out of. So that's something you have to consider because of the steps, okay? And so here is the one and only bathroom. It's located where you can access it off the master bedroom or just come off the living room. What I do like is a one step up shower with fiberglass surround sunlight 
nice vanity sink area with a vanity mirror and then right off that with a slider door is your master bedroom with a queen size bed and light gray or off-white cabinetry carried throughout uh, multiple well, window there and a window on the other side for cross ventilation which you always usually want in your sleeping quarters little coves with a 120 volt outlet and USB chargers on the side some storage for your clothes there two rooftop ACs one here and one in the living area it's a 50 amp um, travel travel trailer or fifth wheel fifth wheels are usually 50 amp because they have two AC units when you have multiple air conditioners, that's what causes the need to have 50 amp standard size travel trailers are usually 30 amp power. These bigger fifth wheels are usually 50 amp. And that's why, because the air conditioners draw a lot of power themselves. So either way, I hope this little tour helped you. Remember, you can always look online and get all the specs, but this is for a visual tour of this unit. Click the thumbs up, click the subscribe, share the video, hit that super thanks if it really helped you. And I'll see you in the next one.